Hello, this is Sara Cruz of Go Walks Portugal. Welcome to another tips and tricks about Portugal. Today I am going to be speaking about traditional festivities of March because we are at the end of the month and I promised you that I was going to speak about traditional festivities each month. So without further ado, let's get to it! The first festivity I want to tell you about is the Festival de Chocolate de Obidus, the International Chocolate Festival of Portugal. It happens in the medieval village of Obidus, which is located between Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, and my hometown, Coimbra. It may happen in the month of March, but some years it can also happen in April or even in May, so pay attention to their schedules. This festival is really interesting because for a few days the medieval village of Obidus, which is incredible, is transformed into a land of chocolate. For several days the medieval village of Obidus is filled with very beautiful showcases of cakes and sweets that everyone can try and buy. There are also activities for children and adults, for example, there are cooking classes for adults and also an area where children can prepare lots of different kinds of chocolate recipes. During the course of the festival, there are international competitors that are pastry makers that go over there to compete for two prizes, the Chocolatier of the Year and the International Competition of Chocolate Recipes. In this festival, you may also see sculptures inspired in various themes, such as wildlife, renewable energies, about pollution, and among other themes. So, it's an international festival that is really interesting for you to attend. If you are around Portugal during this time of year, go there and enjoy it. My second suggestion is Feira de Março. Feira de Março happens in the month of March, as the name says. It can extend itself all the way till the end of April and it takes place in the very beautiful city of Aveiro. This fair exists since 1434. Yes, it exists since the 15th century, you heard me well. It is said that at the time the king approved this fair to facilitate trades between the uh, merchants of that area of the country. Its location changed over the centuries, but it kept the same purpose, and in the 20th century they had it a carnival promising the best acts in the world, such as Spider Woman and the tallest man in the world. This was a way to attract people from all around the country and not only central Portugal. They didn't want only to trade between merchants, but they wanted to promote their products to the general public as well. And the fair acquired such a big status that it is said that all main businesses would shut down during the time of the fair because everyone would go there. Even cultural activities such as theaters in Aveiro would close their doors during the month of March and beginning of April while the fair would take place. Nowadays, this fair is really interesting and it attracts lots of different people, not only merchants, obviously. It has concerts to attract the younger public as well. It has a carnival and I personally used to go there when I was little. My parents would take me there every year and it was a huge happening. So this is a very interesting fair for you to visit if you are around Aveiro at the end of March and during the month of April. My third and last suggestion of the day goes for a religious pagan festival that happens in the north of Portugal in the region of Douro Valley. It takes place in a small village called Freixo de Espada Acinta 
and it is a pagan procession with medieval origins that represents the commissioning of souls, something characteristic from Trajos Montes region that nowadays is only celebrated in Freixo de Espada Asinta. It takes place every Friday during Lent, a period that goes between Carnaval and Easter. This procession counts with the participation of the population and amongst them go several men dressed in black and carrying a chain that they drag along the road, taking seven steps at a time, thus causing a high-pitched noise One of the participants is known as the old lady and while walking very slowly bent over herself, she carries a lamp in one hand and in the other she carries a stick on which she rests. She also brings with her a boot with wine, yes, a boot, that she offers to those who kneel before her, respectfully requesting the blood of Christ. Groups of singers gather around the main streets of the village singing in Portuguese and Latin about the death of Christ. Their deep voices tear through the darkness of the night and create a very bizarre atmosphere something that aims to portray medieval times. As you can see, we have very interesting festivities happening in the month of March here in Portugal. Have you ever heard about them? Are you curious on participating in one of them or all of them? Let me know about it in the comment box down below. If you are new to the channel and enjoyed seeing this video, welcome! I hope you are convinced to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye!